everyone. I hope you all are fine. And today we will learn about Hermite polynomial. In our previous class, we have started uh, special functions uh, by SciPy. And over there, we have completed a uh, legender polynomial. I hope you remember. You just go back to that class and please revise that section because special functions are very useful uh, in physics and in mathematics. So you, you'll be needing this part uh, more often when you go for higher studies, okay? So uh, today, uh, this is the fifth class of the SciPy tutorial that is a part of the free Python programming course that I'm offering you. And in today's class, we will do about Hermite polynomial and how to solve that using special function uh, in SciPy module. So let us begin. This is the very uh, um, known expression of Hermite polynomial equation. And these uh, four equations, H naught X, H one X, H two X and H three X are the Hermite polynomials of different degrees, okay? And we will be solving these polynomials and we'll see out the nature of the curve of each of these uh, uh, degrees of polynomials, okay? We, what, what type of graph they uh, show and uh, various uh, orders and their plots, okay? So like previously, uh, I had done a, a legendary polynomial. Over there, we have done all the four legendary polynomials. Uh, let me select over here one such polynomial, like I, I wish to do this third um, order of threes, this part. So jot down these equations in your copies and let us begin our journey on this Hermite polynomial tonight, okay? So my ideal shell is, uh, I hope is visible, right? So the first thing that we have to do is we have to import NumPy, sorry, import SciPy, okay? import scipy.special. Yes, we will be needing NumPy when we will do the program. Over here, just I want to show you uh, the Hermite uh, polynomials, how they turn out to be, just like we have done in for the legend of polynomials where we have shown, like uh, I have called like uh, from scipy.special import uh, legender. I hope you remember. So then we have done like legender one and it gave you the poly uh, one D format array. So similarly over here as well, you will call import scipy the special as S, okay? And I wish to see the Hermite one. So just write S dot Hermite one and it will fetch you the result of h1 x equal to 2x equation, okay? So it is giving you poly 1d 2 comma 0. Similarly, if you wish to see uh, Hermite 2, then it will fetch you that relation h2 x equal to 4x square minus 2, okay? So the same way we had done uh, the legendary polynomial. And uh, this um, output is a function, uh, is this um, output of Hermite uh, uh, function is a polynomial and it is given in the format of poly 1D array. Okay, so moving on to our uh, spider shell and let us begin uh, uh, to see how the Hermite polynomial turns out to be. Okay, and we'll also see the nature of the graph. I hope my screen is visible. So we'll begin by naming the program. Let us name this as Hermite polynomial. And after that, you have to import NumPy as NP because you'll be taking that X in the format of A range and I'll call A range from NumPy. So uh, NumPy you have to import over here. And next is that we have to call SciPy special. So from SciPy dot special import Hermite. Okay. Finally, to see the nature of the plots, you require import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Okay. 
Then this x comes, so we'll write x is equal to, I'm taking that to be in the format of a range. So a range and fix the range as minus 10 to 10 and 0 0.01. So minus 10, comma 10 and 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.01, okay? And uh, if you want to see all the hormite polynomials, you can write down uh, all of them separately, but I just wish to see the nature of the third uh, order polynomial. And so I just write over here H3, okay, is equal to hormite 3. I just want to show you how to write the program and how the nature comes. If you want to include all the polynomials, you can write over here, like we have done for legendary, you have to write over here, H1 is equal to Hermite 1, H2 is equal to Hermite 2, H3 is equal to Hermite 3, and so on, okay? After that comes the plotting section. So plt dot plot. Since I've taken only one, so I'll write x comma h3 x okay and i'll give the line width as say two and line style say i'll give uh dash uh, i wish for dash okay and the color i want to take uh, as red because it's then visible it's better visible okay and uh, label it's okay if, if you wish to, because I'm doing just the order three, hence I'm writing. So order uh, three. I have a question in the chat box, just a second. Mm, okay, somebody has asked me that, uh, uh, since I have taken only this uh, Hermite polynomial as H3 order, so I'm just writing plt dot x comma H3x. If I had taken all of the polynomials, then I would have written separate lines uh, for all of them, like plt dot plot x and x1x and all this as usual. Then plt dot plot x, x2x, and then rest of this. Then plt dot plot x, x3, x, and so on. So you have to write, uh, as we have done for four, we can write over here four, okay, four polynomials, four separate lines. And similarly, after that, we'll write the, I hope that answers your query. Okay, we'll write axis line, okay. And for that, I'll take as y is equal to a zero, and color of the axis line I take as, say, black. Okay, and line style, uh, say, double dash. Whichever way you wish to. So after that, legend. So just plt.legend. As we have taken only one polynomial over here of the order three, so I'm just considering this plt.legend. If you had taken all of them, then you have to write in the format, like uh, after that, you have to bring one square bracket and you have to write in inverted dollar $h underscore one, dollar $h underscore two, and so on, okay? For different uh, polynomials. Just because we have taken only one, I'm considering the legend in this format. After that, you have to give the title. So plt.title, write down as her my polynomial and I wish to uh, give the size. So size say as I'll take 18, okay? Final is plt.show. This is necessary. So this is my entire program. If you are stuck anywhere, you can write me, okay? Now you have to do is save the program and then execute it to see how it turns out to be. So I have saved my program. 
uh, naming it as Hermite polynomial. And I wish to see the nature. So just hit the run button and see how it turns out to be. Okay. So you can see over here, the graph has come. I have taken the uh, polynomial of order three. So it is showing you the legend order three. I have considered that this thing to be of red. So this is the nature of the Hermite polynomial of order three. And it is very uh, uh, clearly shown over here. And you can see the, the X range uh, is taken from minus 10 to 10, as I've uh, said to you. And uh, the axis line is, uh, as I've taken, a black color and dotted, okay? So if you wish to see another um, Hermite uh, nature, you just add one step over here. Say, suppose you want to see the nature of H2, then write H2, Hermite 2, and then over here, another line after this, uh, that plt dot plot X comma H2, X and all this uh, thing, uh, give that color a blue or something and check how it turns out to be. And over here, this legend line, you come and you write two legends because you'll be taking two polynomials and rest of the thing as it is, and then uh, execute and see how it turns out to be. Okay. So I hope uh, this was quite clear to all. And if you have any queries, just drop in your question, any way you want in Insta, in my FB page, or you can mail me. All of the links are provided in the YouTube. And uh, you can also uh, write in the comment box if you wish to, okay? So stay safe and take care.